Hello, uh, good evening. Uh, welcome to programming.blogspot.com. Uh, today, uh, I will show you how to fill multiple tables in data set. So, I have a tables uh, in Server Explorer that the first table that is user table. Okay, and these are the tables, and I want to find uh, two tables in data set. Uh, a simple query you can design um, to add multiple table in data set actually uh, uh, when we write the query uh, to insert item as well as select the select item to retrieve the table then we can do this program okay so first of all add two grid view to retrieving the data from the data set that is the first grid view also take the another grid view that's fine okay now write the query uh, or you can say write the connections uh, with the SQL server by using code uh, you are very familiar uh, with the SQL connection class SQL command class uh, data adapter and uh, data reader and uh, data sets uh, you know very well about data set actually data set is a collection of data table so here in this examples I I will add multiple table in data set so here we have a two uh, uh, method but here we take a single method uh, to bind the data set uh, with the two table okay and that's fine so here we have a single uh, method to bind the data set with the table so bind grid is a method in which we can create uh, connections with the SQL server so SQL connection class is responsible to create the connections so con dot connection string uh, you are very familiar uh, but you don't know about uh, how to load multiple table in data set you know very well about the query uh, actually dql query is used to retrieve the data uh, from the SQL server so here we use a dql query that is select but in the string i will take a two query like the select asterisk from single table and query uh, is concat with the another query that is with the other another table so uh, let's check uh, the command text that i'm writing here cmd dot command text that is the query I want to write the query uh, to retrieve two table from server or you can say database so writing the query here select asterisk from the name of the table from the SQL server that is user table so in the square bracket use the name of the table that is user table also uh, use the add by value operator to concat the string so query plus equals to here we write another table that is select strict from the name of the table uh, what is the name of the table that is customer okay so uh, you can see that uh, in server explorer we uh, i have a two table that is customer and user table and many more tables like triple a image picture etc so uh, in a query we have a two table that is user table and the customer table uh, and the query apply in the command so by using the command class we can retrieve the two tables and by using adapter class we can fill uh, the table uh, into the data set okay so da dot fill the data set um, but we so 
क्रिएट ए ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द डाटा सेट डाटा सेट डी एस इक्वल्स टू न्यू डाटा सेट दैट इज डाटा सेट ओके नाउ फिल द डाटा सेट एंड बाइंड द ग्रिड व्यू बोथ ग्रिड व्यू Yeah, apply DS. Bind the first grid view uh, with the uh, first table grid view dot data source equals to DS dot tables, and that index number of the table that is zero and the one. grid view one dot data bind so first grid view bind with the user table and the second grid view bind with the customer table so grid view two dot data bind oops data source ds dot tables and index number of the table that is one so grid view one dot data uh, grid view two dot data bind yeah that successfully bind uh, both grid view with the two tables so let's check uh, the output of the query um, uh, but first add the connection string that is available in web.config file you can create this connection string by the simple tab uh, to add the sql data source into your design page and make the connection string in web.config file okay so now run this code and check the output it will take um, few seconds to load the output i think i will get error message because uh, I think I will not add the command instance in the SQL data adapter so uh, I will get the error in getting the error okay uh, take some times and load the output in the browser then after you can uh, make changes in your code by using the simple adding uh, command instance into uh, in the object of the yeah that's a, a error select command property has not been initialized before calling fill so first of all add the instance of the command into the sql data adapter, adapter constructor okay so add this and then it again so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my own other video tutorials thank you thank you very much